Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vonster vlog and welcome to what I do think is day 273 maybe of a year of yoga. We'll see. Like I think that's what day it is. I don't know. I just got done having an amazing live stream and after party with y'all over on our main channel and I just wanted to get some blood flowing before I get back to work because we're going to stay up late and keep an eye on the tornado weather that's coming through today. Very, very stiff. And it's coming to a forward fold. Lifting our toes and then our heels. I'm going to use a block here to come up and then I'm actually going to thread through. I'm going to see if stepping wide Stepping wide actually messes with my alignment a little bit. I don't know if y'all can hear that wind, but it is really starting to get wild outside. Okay, so I'm going to sit and kind of, my head is brimming with ideas. So Randy and I are stealing away our niece for the summer again, and we are thinking about going to a convention um, just to go, just to have fun because, I mean, you only live once, why not, you know, go to it, go and do something fun. Uh, I'm, we're not entirely certain which convention it's going to be yet, but we are going to go ahead and get started on our costumes. And because we figured it's whatever con we go to, we're shooting for a three day. So we were like, we could do a costume for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for each of these conventions. And I'm also going to be wearing this costume, one of the costumes for uh, the Ren Fair, whenever we go and pick her up, uh, we're going to be in town for like a day. So, and she was like, well, I'm going to go to Paris. We're like, okay, so we're going to go to the Ren Fair and then steal her uh, on the way home. Um, but I had this idea for a costume or for a, a, a creature character that is like a fawn, like a satyr fawn type you know, horned, hoofed creature, um, like a, a fey folk, certainly, that is a luna moth satyr, or, you know, the female. The satyrs traditionally were always male, but like a, or like um, a luna moth goat dryad. I don't even know, but I want like, uh, it's going to have, I'm going to grow some horns 
like I'm gonna I'm gonna be making the costume but whenever I think of it it's like a little bit of a transformation of the horns are gonna come out and around I'm gonna have my big satyr ears um like moth antenna so it's the very feathery antenna um and I'd like to make a sculpture of an owl face for wearing in the forehead of the headdress because it's gonna be a headdress that like kind of like sits on um to bind all the pieces together uh probably gonna be wearing my hair either short or like pinned up because it's gonna be pretty hot at the Ren Fair um and makeup done very similar to what I'm wearing but a little bit more extravagant probably more spirals and things but very very luna moth color scheme and wearing a very similar outfit to what I'm wearing actually I'll be wearing uh either brown and black or green and black or if I can get it the tan and white striped uh, plus size tights from we love colors I think yeah because they have really great really great tights um, in just about every color under the sun uh, underneath my flowy pants with like just one of my tie-dye tops um, and a luna moth cardigan like I'm gonna make it a kimono cardigan and airbrush it with just some like acrylic paint or something because it's never gonna get washed <laughs> like it, hand wash only um to so that it's like luna moth wings like um but hopefully we'll be able to keep the sun off and then the umbrella and i'm gonna wear a festival belt with pockets so i don't have to carry a purse um and I'm going to carry an umbrella that I'm making a mushroom cap cover for uh, that I think will be really cool. And that's going to be <laughs> what I wear to the, um, and if I can't make, I've got a green like kimono cardigan that I'll just wear if I'm not able to make a, um, a Luna Moth cape, but that, that would be really cool. I do believe that would be really cool. Hey, Z dog. Oh, getting a good stretch to throw in her thighs. But for whatever convention we go to, we were thinking one day I could pick the group cosplay, one day Randy could, and one day Maddie could. So, of course, for my group cosplay, I just want us to go as woodland creatures. So I'm probably going to just wear the Luna Moth uh, fawn cosplay. Um, and I, I'm not certain how Maddie's going to dress, but Randy was thinking about going as a fun guy. So like, we're just going to make him like a mushroom hat, uh, and like a billowy, uh, gentleman's like peasant style shirt, like typical medieval generic, uh, but he's not so much into wearing costumes. So something very mild, like he's probably still going to wear his blue jeans with it or like his cargo shorts and his sneakers that he always wears. But Hey, I just want him to participate on whatever level that he's happy with. So we'll do that. And then Maddie was thinking something Star Wars themed and Randy was thinking about shaving his head and uh, we make horns and we can just glue the little horns on his head so he can be, I can't remember the name of the race, but there's like what Darth Maul was, uh, like that race within the Star Wars universe. Uh, He's going to be a unpainted, so not necessarily red and black, um, one of those, quite possibly, in like Jedi robes or something. Maddie wants to be a Sith. That's all I know so far. Randy and her have been talking about it a lot, and I think I'm going to be a Twi'lek, or Twi'lek, um, but I'm definitely going to be making some Leku, and I think I'm going to be like a pink and green Twi'lek? Twi'lek? Is it Twi'lek? Twi'lek. Remember, do you know? I can never remember um but uh and I'm just gonna wear like one of my go goddess dresses and like which is a dress that like it's a long sleek dress with like the fabric comes up over the boobs and then you can cross it and like make however many designs and stuff that you want they are super comfy and very very like flattering um <laughs> so I'm just gonna wear one of those with like some body chains 
and my Leku. I'm going to carry around a baby Yoda. <laughs> and, uh, and then Randy wants to do a DBZ themed. We're going to make a Shinron costume for Maddie, very similar in concept to my Spyro costume. So she's going to be dressed as a dragon. And Randy's like, I just want to be a Saiyan. Like, he just wants to wear Saiyan armor. And I still have my old Bulma costume, so that one's already done. I just need to try on the vest to make sure it still fits. Um, otherwise, I need to make another vest. But whew, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of work, but part of the fun of it is, um, you know, doing the work and making the costumes and stuff. That's going to be a lot of fun, I think, getting to hang out with Randy and Maddie and do that stuff. So just getting some quick stretches in. I'm going to bend my left leg and roll off to the left here. Bring my elbows to the ground. I'm gonna come on up, come around, rotate around. Lord, it's such a good stretch, how's he? Place my hands back on the mat, tuck my toes under, inhale, and pull up to plank. And into downward facing dog again. Walk our hands back up, back into a forward fold. And bending our knees generously, let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let's balance for a moment. Doing circles with our wrists and ankle. And then you balance on the other foot. Change directions with your wrists. Alrighty, thank you guys. Ooh, ooh, that's a big yawn. I'm more tired than I thought I was. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing y'all again tomorrow another day of a year of yoga let me know how you're doing down in the comments i love hearing from you guys and i'll see you all next time so until then keep on keeping on Mwah. bye <laughs>